Please stand for the bride. Dearly beloved, family and friends, we are gathered here today in the presence of God to celebrate love and to see the joining of these two hearts, of Chelsea and to all who stand here before us. I'd like to thank you all for being here and being a very special part of this special day as you're here to witness these two lives united together as one in cover. And you all may be seated. And who gives away this bride of marriage? Chelsea and Gerald. Very special day for you two. You picked this 24th of April, 2013, to come here to take your vows. To give and receive your hearts by way of promise to be united as one. And that promise is to never let anything or anyone ever come between you to part your hearts of love. So remember that it is your love that brought you two together. That same love has flourished to bring you here to this point of the day. The love that is always going to be there forever, all your days. And that is your loving commitment to each other. Remember that love is not just words. It goes beyond that. Love is not just an emotional experience alone. It's more full than that. It comes from the heart and is shown in your actions for each other. To uh, by your actions, show forth your love. To serve and honor each other equally as your partner, your best friend, and your closest confidant. Remember the great words of 1 Corinthians 13, the famous love chapter. It speaks beautiful words about love given in a pure and yet unconditional and passionate way. It says, love is patient, love is kind. It is not boastful, proud, selfish, or rude. Love has a loyal heart. It is not self-seeking. Keeps no record of wrongdoing, forgives. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. Both the practice of this love will bring you here to so continue on and find new and interesting ways to please each other and make each other happy. Both we'll find great joy and success together to stay in that at this morning. A special love that you share. So, uh, Chelsea, would you like to pass your flowers next to you? I'd like you both to continue holding hands, facing one another. As you look into each other's eyes, the mirrors of the heart, I'd like you both to Think about how much you love one another, how dear your love is to your hearts, and what it means for you to be here, what it's taking you to get here. Think about when you fell in love. Gerald said the first night he saw you at Chelsea, he said he's going to marry you. Here you are. You never know how things turn in life, but the good thing is, is that here you are now, holding hands with the one that you've always waited for and when you desire with your heart. Those hands are going to take care of you, help you, assist you, and comfort you in times of need. So with that said, I'd like you also think about your future. Your future is still way before you both together. So continue to make new and happy memories. Uh, and as you do this, remember that life is 
is about the fullness of the heart, giving of yourself to others, and especially to your loved one, to your spouse. And that is the full meaning of love, the true life and happiness in the heart. So as you're holding hands with your loved one, I'm going to ask you both a question of your vows. Jerome, will you take Chelsea to be your wedded wife, to love, comfort, cherish, and honor her, being with her always, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness, and in health, so long as you both shall live? I do. And Chelsea, will you take Gerald to be your husband, to love, comfort, cherish, and honor him, being with him always, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness, and in health, so long as you both shall live? I do. May I have the rings, please? These two rings that I hold in my hand, they symbolize your love for each other. Uh, the metal of the ring is pure, and the stones are pure. It reminds you both to continue on with that pure love, the love that is given unconditionally and passionately with all your heart. Two devoted hearts, sincere love. The circle goes on forever and knows no ending because it shows that your love has no ending as well. These are to symbolize the matter and the attitude of the heart and your commitment that you make today. So as you wear these rings, let it mean more to you than just husband and wife only. It shows a reflection of your love. So go ahead and take each other's ring. And Gerald, go ahead and place the ring upon your bride's left ring finger. Hold that ring in place and look into Chelsea's eyes as you hold the ring and repeat after me. That's why it takes two, not just one. That's not going on. What happened? There we go. But she, uh, maybe she had it resized a little bit lower so that way you didn't take it off. Yeah. All right. This ring is a symbol. This ring is a symbol. Of my love. Of my love. And my commitment. And my commitment. I take you to all. I take you to all. To be my husband. To be my husband. Always and forever. Always and forever. The two unity tapers that speaks of the, the hearts being united. These are symbolistic of your life, your love. Each candle individually expresses who you are. And these two are being blended and united together to be as one from this day forward. This is symbolic of your vows that you took. Because God has said that He has joined together, but no one separate. This is the, the opportunity of the candles to commemorate that special love that you both share from this day forward, united. So I'd like you both at the same time to take the two tapers, which represent your lives individually, and light the center one together to symbolize your life as one from this day forward.
Joel and Chelsea here today in the presence of God and many of your loved ones. You both have given your hearts to each other and pledge the vows of marriage. You've sealed your pledges with the wedding rings, the symbols and the reminders of your loving devotion for each other. You've also symbolized your unity together as one with the candle. So now as you both go forward in this place for today, I wish you both the greatest in life to continue on in that joy that you receive through each other's love. That joy that you get from each other's love that makes your heart beat, that makes your, your whole life surrendering to each other's arms. Always keep that beauty in your relationship. And as you do so, may God be with you both, loving you and being gracious to you all your days. Give you peace. Stay united as one and stay forward. For now, it is with my great privilege and pleasure, Jerome and Chelsea, the authority vested in me to stay in Nevada. So now, pronounce you both husband and wife. Jerome, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Family and friends, it is my great privilege and opportunity for the very first time to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Hasruni.